stop you! I'll turn you off! Boys don't like our men on that. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hand. Lieutenant. Hi, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. Spare the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir! The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bar those orders. You think so? We're dead in the war, otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. It's got good fault, Chief. I'll be waiting for you. them two, Rogers and Chamberlain. What's the issue? The Commodore don't think much of civilians there. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. Oh, 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 I could think of worse. Gather those two men there. Commodore 
Another job for you. Hi, sir. I heard the Commodore ranting and raving about Wood Rogers, calling them a heathen and whatnot. What's happened to set them two off? Bush, man. You don't want the governor's ire brought down on you. He's a mysterious person. Well, I'm much more afraid of the Commodore in truth. He's a serious chap. No sense of humor. Time. You can't escape us! Huh? 